P.K. Blitz, the winner of who will fight Louis Jesus, as mentioned. Then we have Slink and Dax, the winner of which will fight uh, and then the winner of those two will fight in the semifinals. So let's do. Three, two, one. Falco getting buffs and having a little bit more of a presence is a newer thing, so I haven't seen too much of this matchup itself. But if I had to take a guess, I would say this is actually pretty solidly in Falco's favor neutral-wise until it comes time for, like, the percent to rack up, because I feel like Charizard would be able to box him enough that he could uh, force kills once he gets into that percent. And Falco's getting a lot of early percent. Five on the board already. Maybe he won't even trade over. I'm doing a good job of uh, keeping the pressure on as is. Catch is the side B too. Sometimes you do have to do that option. He probably would have had a combo off of that, but it is risky. Let's have to start up there. It's in the imagination. The side BB confirm on IV. He's over to Char Charizard. Nice! That was really cool. So using the up B from uh, Fire Falcon to keep Charizard in the air and uh, stutter him in place, and then the up B didn't reach the ledge. Either a fudged input there, or he actually fell too far to use it. Let's go. Cool. So saw a bit of the. Not an early gimp there, because he had gotten some percent on him, but a gimp that uh, puts Tilly in the lead after a pretty, like, heavy amount of damage early on. I'd be to check him. Ooh. Had it too. For the grab is not a bad idea there. Keeps getting it through the stage for a little extra bit of percent here or there, which is a nice thing to have when your uh, stock's as high as it is here. Difficult to make like stocks like that last so long, but any extra credit you get will help towards uh, making the game a little bit easier for you. Let me go for the tech roll towards the ledge, but Bonk uh, rolls in, secures the stage. Didn't get the reset of the grab. They're actually doing a lot more boxing with Squirtle than I would have figured. Squirtle's definitely small and agile, but I thought his hitboxing would have a hard time against uh, Falco. But he's keeping it going. Is there here and there to keep him honest? That's not a bad idea. We're not seeing it too much because Squirtle's such a small target that if he's not on the ground or like just about to jump, then Laser probably won't make a big deal. Squirtle's fast enough to get to his face, but seeing it here or there just to let him know that he has the tool is good. That is the big ending with Charizard. Uh, back air, forward tilt, up smash, uh, grab into up throw, I believe it is. That's the uh, L up and come back down. I don't actually remember what the Pokemon is for that is. Do up air on Squirtle. Wasn't an upside. Are we gonna see an edge guard or is he gonna hang tight? Oh yes, the classic. We need a pack. Very good. Alright. Getting his time. I'm not sure how I feel about him cornering himself like that. Uh, uh, to last stock. This is kind of rough. Uh, the thing is, is that if Bankai stays Charizard here, he opens him up, up to uh, getting comboed a lot more, but that's his best chance for getting like a stray hit kill, like a back air. Um, Squirtle, he's not really going to get a kill. He'll just get some work for some time. But we'll see. He might be trying to play this one on us instead of trying to go for stray hits. Nice. Actually, so he got the correct read on the side B, but didn't have the spacing. Never the time. Nice. Good mix up on the timing on that one. Didn't attack right away so he wouldn't hit. Shell instead got him when he was dropping it. 
Charizard coming in. Good job on the ledge grab. Oh, that's... Yeah, there he goes. <sighs> it's hard to deal with that on this stage. Well, any stage with platforms, really. But Smashville having such a large percentage of the stage with that platform directly above it means you got to watch for that grab at this kind of percent. And it's so quick, too. Because it's really easy to think, oh, you know, Charizard, he's probably going to... Like, I don't know, shield and go for uh, an up smash out of shield. I'll just run up and grab him, and then maybe he'll grab you. Or maybe I'll do, uh, you know, back air, forward tilt, whatever, try to throw a hitbox out. He's got a good mix up between his throws, between the spacing aerials, and between his out of shield option to kill you. To where it's really scary to like run up and try to get past on Charizard, which Falco doesn't have a way to end stocks otherwise. So he kind of has to get in there. That's where it gets intimidating for him. That's another thing you need to worry about with platforms is that Charizard can always drop through and always try to space those out for you. You have the fire there, the double jump when he cornered himself. And he tries to meet him and then look like back here there. I'm not sure what move that was. And that was good. He threw in the tomahawk to, to put the fear of the back air into him. I don't know that he he would have been uh, reacting to that. But he had his back turned too, which is a really small detail, but depending on which way your character or your opponent's character is facing, you can send off uh, basically a small signal of like what tools you can look for. And with Charizard's back facing you, you'd probably think reasonably, oh man, this is prime back air real estate right here. I am 100% gonna catch this, except I won't because I'll be shielding. And then he tomahawk turned around, grabbed him and up threw him for the game. So, Hazard is intimidating at those higher percents. Interested to see Tilbury's counter pick on this. Battlefield? Mm. I think this is alright. I think Squirtle benefits a little bit from the platform's first combo game, and Ivysaur maybe a bit too, but I'm sure Falco probably a little bit more. And then, of course, the top platform for Charizard means that if he gets the grab under that platform, it's going to kill a lot of there. What does that Goes to the side view, but actually messes up the punish on that one. Yeah, uh, reverse the empty. Pressing out. Ooh! Nice. Hit him off the platform with the laser. I think he was actually looking for the tech roll in on that situation. It's easy to sort of like, uh, you're in a scramble until they was ready. And then Bonka, I was playing into it too, which is smart, very conscious of him. Nice down tilt, running in and trying to put on grab pressure. Keep here up tilt, in the chase. And Tilly's actually making really good use of the platforms as well. To Try to keep himself up above, um, because Squirtle's options a lot of the times, if he wants to combo you, if he wants you a little bit closer to the ground so he can start getting some of his, like, re-grabs. Um, granted, this is a higher percent than you would ever see the re-grabs, but... I'll be in a little bit of a deficit here. This is not terrible, especially if he can manage to sneak something in on Squirtle, who is pretty light. He is racking up extra... 30%, 40%, just shy. Oh, he gets the double jump too. This is bad, he doesn't have a whole lot of waste time. Smash does get back here, punish. Yo, he was there! He had the call out on the side beat to the platform. Good job, wave lane back, dropped down and was ready for the punish, but didn't quite get too much out of it. That Squirtle side beat is really hard to punish online too. Uh, I don't... I don't know how punishable it is if you shield it and then trying to hop and jump on top of it in the middle of the animation. The reaction is really difficult enough as is. Uh, on the delay. Very good like way to throw out. Oh, so that was down tilt. Okay. So the down tilt kill. Very nice. Until they down the stock again. Bonkai switching over to Charizard. Perhaps he wanted... Yeah, he wants to go back to Squirtle. Okay. 
That was good, till they got on him before he had a chance to switch over to the Pokemon that he wanted. Got a little bit of extra percent for his troubles, which is always worth it. Right. Drag down reset into a grab. The down B changes to get out of the combo. Need an early kill there. That's scary. Yo, really? Forward air? Holy cow. I think he was dead of that guess. That might have been a DI thing too. Doesn't get the correct uh I have a regrab unfortunately. That probably would have led to a kill with the back air. Nice. Make the up smash, change your Pokemon like crazy. Don Tilt's not gonna take it this time. Portal living at 164. Difficult to get anything done here. Nice. Alright, so it's evened up. Getting a little bit of a percent in there. Jabbing with Charizard, getting himself to a safe place to use Squirtle. Down into re-grab. Face up, okay. Changes Pokemon to get himself out of the combo again. Looking for, I would assume, a good time to change. Yes. Okay. More a good escape for the combo. Um, with Charizard, a little bit. I'd be looking for a more decisive hit. No. Yeah, so Squirtle seems to be his main damage dealer here. Oh, is that it? Nice. So Bankai is making uh, most of this matchup work with Squirtle, and then using the change to help get himself out of some of the uh, looser Falco combos. We see right there, drop down. Good job moving himself out of the way, and then he's there in time for the jab block, which is very good. Killed a lot earlier than I would have suspected the two as well. Then we have the back row there. Squirtle can be beefo. He's a little bit more specific about it. Like, Squirtle back throw is not super fantastic, but it'll get the job done if you're at the ledge like he was there. And that's kind of a hard situation to set up, but he had it. Ready. Then we saw the jab block there, which he does set up really well with the uh, down toe. That was good awareness of him to go for that. And then we're going to go into game three. three two, one, go! Oh yeah, but real quick go through the highlights. And we're in. We grab, tried to catch him on what I assume was the jump away there. Didn't exactly clip him. They're going back to Battlefield as well, so I guess Tilde's feeling pretty comfortable on this one. I do like uh, Bankai's playing this with Squirtle. Squirtle does have a lot of stuff going for him. Um, usually, once things start going out of that uh, low percent combo range, you'll often see changes to Ivysaur or Charizard. These mid to high high percents is actually really interesting. Let's see what his options are. Another thing about this is that is not totally out of like combo zone at this point. And if he goes in, he can potentially get himself for a bunch of extra percent that he doesn't want. Playing it patient, trying to slow himself down a little bit. Ivy. Shield up smash and back air. All jumps mix up his timing just a little bit. That's always good to do. Uh, nothing on that one. That was weird. That looked like a tech. Some off stage. Oh, he baited out the early upbeat. Very nice. It's very scary in that situation. And you have to expect, or it's understandable to expect, that your opponent would come out and aerial you when you've got limited resources. So until they waiting was a great call. Alright, 
taking them from coast to coast. Again? One time? We've gone the bus both ways. We can do one more for the scenic one. No, no re-grab on Barkai, but he's still pressing him. It's looking pretty good for Tilde right now. Uh, having Charizard out for this reason right here, precisely why he probably shouldn't be out at the end of his sense. Not that he had too much of a choice in that. He had to switch around if he wanted to get back to Squirtle. But it's good on Tilde to put the pressure on when Bankai is more vulnerable with that big uh, combo free character. This is, like, difficult to come back from at this point. We'll see. Potentially get an early kill with Charizard. You know, people like, nah, he's going right back to Squirtle. He's not getting out of a combo, he's freeing himself up a little bit. Trying to switch around. Uh, sure that Tilde's staying on his toes, try to adapt to his tools as he goes. Cancel the bullet seed! Here's the thing. Yeah. It's the 140 percent. Oh, he was there too long. Stand on the ledge. The higher percent you are, the less invincibility time you have. So you might have thought he had a little bit left in him. So Tilly totally put himself on the board. Nice. It's pretty good too. That I think that catch that he had on. Uh, Charizard, where he got like 60%. I think that was a really big deal on that one. I think that gave him a lot of momentum. And so he was playing all of that really well. There was a lot of solid play of just like um, came down from the platforms, he slowed himself down a little bit, and then he came in with a lot of stuff like that. Like that, he was just waiting. Just waiting for a good opportunity to go in, and then he pressed real hard when he got in. Especially because he picked up on Bankai uh, changing his Pokemon and getting out of combos that he was on top of him whenever he did that. That was a good parry, though. That was a real good parry, you know, Smash. I don't know that it was necessary. I think that's still a punish for up Smash anyway, on block, but do it by all means. Okay, so I wonder if we're going to see some more... Uh, uh, Fish until they play, or if he's gonna switch it up. This is not how you want to start it if you're until they know. 42% uh, is not a death sentence, but it's definitely some deficit to start out with. Abdens to the chase. In a lot on that upper platform. Uh, mostly because it's a lot of like edge guarding with the reverse. Oh, that's the biggest reverse. And the T bag! <laughs> no! It's not a kind. Pokemon don't deserve this kind of treatment. Right, take this time with lasers. That was a little bit of a risky side beat. You do have to do that to uh, you know put it into your opponent's head, but I feel like that was a little bit of an obvious time. This is in. Not let him go with Ivy this time. Good job fighting his way back to the ground. Ivy does like to push buttons on you after you air dodge her up. Yeah, out looking for the back air Charizard kill. Hey, he got him! That's rough. That's difficult to die. There he is. In. Right. Don't they taking this sweet time? I think he's really feeling himself at this point. Stocks up. Oh no, Bankai trying to get out of the situation. Ends up getting himself further into the combo. Slandy can't save his ass on that one. That 
until they can play at whatever pace he wants. The lead like this. Nice. Let's come with the grab. Was he really? Dang. He's dead. What a convincing uh -oh. game. Um, four, I believe that was. Yes. Goodness. This was on um, Bankai's counterpick at that. Was really dominant. We've seen a lot of good adaptation from Tilde. We've seen some pretty good play. We've seen a lot of patience. It was. Yeah, look at that. He was doing the. Um, what is it? The micro walk forward, too, to increase his speed. So, listen, guys. I do not encourage uh, excessive or unnecessary BM, but. You are BMing and you're trying to teabag, just tapping down is not optimal. If you tap down and then press forward a little bit, that actually gets you uh, a faster rep speed. Were. Right, so we're going to go into a game five after a dominant show from Tilde and uh, a little bit of disrespect, honestly. Uh, maybe this is what he was looking for. Maybe he was looking to square up with, uh, with Bankai ZSS. Because we're here. We're doing it. So we're sort of swaying in in neutral right now. The up tilt. Not as much as he probably would have liked on that chase, but he does get some damage, and that does always help. Chasing himself against CSS. See, and this is scary because the spacing is a good option because the projectile is something he definitely wants to leverage, but if he makes the wrong call and his uh, laser gets jumped over, he could potentially eat a really good move. Or grab, or get tossed off stage, and then get put in an edge guard scenario. Alright, down doesn't the combo into the up tilt. Come on. Nice. Buckeye using the flip kick also to get right into position to uh, let trap in his guard. Very good. Just faking with the jumps, but still he's right out there with the board air. Taking back the stage. Uh, I don't know if that was a punish. Cause that move is pretty hard to punish, especially when spaced out like that. But that was a good call there. Kick. Very difficult to chase after. Bankai takes himself back to the stage, sets himself up for another edge guard situation. Ledge trap. Almost actually catches him on the side B. That looked like it was the correct call out, but he wasn't quite where he needed to be to make that work. Like, Backing himself off, playing a little bit patient now. Another good, like, again, he's in all the spots that Tilde wants to be with these back airs. Even if he's not hitting him, just the idea that the opponent knows where you want to be is uh, a lot of pressure to be put under. All right, doing his best job to uh, give himself some space with the laser before he up these back. Catches the runaway. Get away from that grab. That cutter is huge. Come on the normal get up. That wasn't a whole lot of percent taken either. 13% is not a lot when you're, uh... You're, the time between your stock taken and your opponent's stock taken was so large like that. Kind of boxing a little bit. Each other out. They're trying to put these lasers up. That was really good. So, Bankai jumped over him. He went a little too far. Uh, Tilda was doing the lasers and he was ready with the up tilt. Okay, up tilt, and then he didn't get the follow-up, so he checked in with the jab to make sure he wasn't pulling anything. That was good. And, I mean, it's another really big deficit. It's not that Bankai can't clear it, but this is definitely a gap. So we'll see if Tilde can continue to play patient and look for his openings here, especially now that he has an advantage to leverage. Drag down fair on shield into the up tilt. Continue with block press. Yeah. He keeps going for that. I am assuming to catch the jump away instead of going for grab. I assume that's his mix there. To catch 
uh, Bankai threw his shield with a back air, but he wasn't close enough. Bankai keeping himself safe. Just the jump catches the air dodge as well. He's really good chasing down. He, he tried to go for the read, and it was a little too big of a commitment. Oh my goodness, golly gosh, he died for that. Sorry, got a check. So, uh, I think maybe what the call might have been there is that could have cut roll as well as a jump up side B, which is a tempting option, but he held it. And Tilde was willing to just watch and wait. And uh, Bunkai was kind of left standing there until they had plenty of time to think about how he wanted to punish that. And that was a really good sequence to end it. He had all the right reads at the end. Good, so Tilde with the uh, reverse 3 0. Bankai taking the first two games pretty convincingly, and then Tilde coming back in a big way, real big way. The uh, ZSS counter pick on game five. So that was a good, good job. Very well done. And with that. You'll have the results back in loser sides of the bracket.